Hi, in this tutorial we are going to learn the next step that once we have taken the scanning how to use our auto rich counting software and update the bridges. So we will open the customer file which we saved in the scans and first we have to identify the personality of our customer how to identify the personality obviously as we learned in tutorial we have to go and check the l1 the left hand thumb impression and find out what personality of customer is so this is our l1 we open it and we see it is a loop so if it is a loop what is the personality of customer we can always refer to our tutorials and we can see that the analyzing fingerprint type if we check the personality the loop personality is of steady or tough so that's what we'll update here the personality is steady so personality is identified that's simple now we'll open the l1 scan l1 scan is obviously a loop so what is the code of loop it is a left hand scan and the pattern is of ulnar loop and the code to be updated is L. So we'll come to our file, we'll update code as L, and then we'll move to find out and count the ridges which we have to update here. So now <coughs> to update and identify ridges using our ordinary mm -hmm. software, we'll open our business case software and drivers and we'll open the rich counter over here you'll find this rich counter exe file just open it and we'll click open and we'll open our folder 30 and image file is there the files are not visible you have to just change and select all files from here because I in few scanners it is saved as jpg file now we'll open it now as we learned in loop formation there is one core and one delta so in our software we'll also select one core and one delta and then we'll click on define as you click on define first you have to select the core core is center and then click on delta delta is y shape when this line is formed you have to just click simply on count and once you click on count you will get some values you have to refer to this value <coughs> the ridges count is 18 so we click here and write team now we'll move to the next fingerprint next fingerprint is again a loop l2 so in a loop so we'll put again l here and we'll open that image l2 and as it is loop again it has one core and one delta we'll click on define we'll click on here we'll click on y and we'll click on count that's just count came again 18 so we'll update it here 18 we'll move to the next one l3 l3 is also a loop And how many regions are there? Let's see. Click on open. We'll click on L3. 
we click on define define core first and define delta click on count the register count is 16 so we will update here 16 and then we will move to the next image now the next image is different it's not a loop what it is try to see the pattern it is s shape pattern with two deltas so let's go back to our tutorial to cross check what kind of formation it is and you can see it is kind of implanting role or composite role it seems like it's more of a composite role because the ridge formation is quite small it's so it isn't this way so there are two centers and two deltas first of all we'll update the code as w3 in our customer file <clears throat> and then we'll open the image in our software it is l4 and then we will see where the two centers in the s this is the first center and this is the second center so we will select two cores and two deltas because th this formation has two cores and two deltas so we will click on define so the first one is first center it is in s formation so this formation could be different if it is near the edge so this is the first and this is the second and now two deltas one delta is here other delta is here <coughs> click on count now as there's two cores and two deltas you get two different ridges count one is seven this one and one is 14 so we have to take the higher value higher value is 14 so we'll put 14 over here and we'll move to the next fingerprint the last fingerprint of left hand now this fingerprint is of pico guy let's go check see this is a pico guy there's one delta close to the center and one delta far away so we'll open this image and click on define center is here we have a one core so we click select one core and we click on define so this is core this is delta one and this is delta two count so obviously we know the higher edges sound will be here so if that's why even if this delta is not a bit visible it's fine because more important is the higher value so the higher value is 16 so we'll select w4 as the code and 16 so in the same way we will identify the fingerprint code of right hand we'll find out the register count and we'll update it here in this file that's all the next step would be the port operation for which you refer to the next tutorial thank you